Hello there. All right, I'm really excited because today we're gonna do standing leg balance, right? So simple, doesn't look like much. It is secretly the best glute exercise. I have had this exercise turn around client's glute tone, which I like to pitch the exercise as a really great balance exercise, which it is. And that's where I feel like it's most valuable, but I find that most of my clients are much more interested in the fact that their butt perks up. So this exercise actually gets your butt to kind of perk up. And so I've ha given this to clients to do every single day because they were traveling or I just really needed them to figure out some sort of strengthening exercise or they just wanted homework because sometimes you need something to do between your weekly sessions. So just doing this daily really did a t number on their glute strength. So they came in the next week or the next two weeks and I'm like, what happened? And it's amazing, like a little lift and activation that wasn't there before. All right, let's look at some alignment things that pop up. So a lot of times I give people this exercise and there's a whole host of things that we can do to cheat out of the work of the exercise. So let's look at that first. So when you do the exercise, you know what to look for in yourself. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to be lifting one leg up and basically this is, this is the exercise. So one, go at your height. Two, I want to make sure that the pelvis stays level. Or you, you imagine it like car headlights pointing straight forward. You don't want to be cockeyed. And sometimes you can feel it in your pelvic bones. Other times you could really think about your waist and you want to think about both sides of your waist really being even, right? So I don't want to hike this hip up or hike the other hip up, right? Because then I lose all my glute work on that side. So that's the first thing. The other thing is, of course, hyperextension of the knees. So I don't want you to feel like you have to bend your knees, but you really want to think about how your shin is stacked on top of your foot and your ankle. The thigh is on top of that. Rather than letting the knee joint kind of drop back, you want to bring them into alignment so you have a nice, spacious knee joint. And then my hip is on top of my thigh, and then my ribs on top of my hips, and my skull on top of there. Right, a couple of other things besides hyperextension is we will tend to either tuck and kind of lean this forward and kind of jam my pelvis forward, which again, no glute work there. So we want to get that active. That's part of, that's the reason we're doing the exercise. The other thing you want to think about is sometimes people don't tuck, but we tend to kind of lift up and find our posture. So we'll be here and we're like, we're going to grow taller. And we kind of do this. And I actually didn't grow taller, I just kind of did a back bend. And that is a little bit of standing on your back rather than standing on your legs. So again, I start to lose this tone. So I want to get the ribs on top of the pelvis, the skull on top of the ribs, ribs on top of the pelvis, pelvis on top of the foot, right? So above the ankle, thigh, shin, right? Don't kick the shin back and the knee joint back, really stack it. And then you lift up through there, right? Our hands are actually going to be interlaced behind our head. So now you kind of know what your cheats are. Let's move into the exercise. So find your feet parallel as you can possibly get. You're going to interlace your hands. You're going to take your hands behind your skull. And this is exactly what we did in episode six, except that you're just going to get equal opposite pressure. So you're going to press your head into your hands and your hands into your head. You're going to first press your left foot, so really mentally think about how you're going to shift your weight and lift the right leg off, but press through the left foot. So just think about it before you actually do it, right? Make sure before you do this exercise, if your balance is very challenged or this is not your forte, definitely be near a wall, near a countertop, a table, a couch, whatever you could easily grab and catch on to so you don't hurt yourself because I do not want you to fall. I want you to do this exercise to help you prevent falling, but please don't fall during the exercise. So make it safe for you. So again, hands interlaced. Skull into the hands, hands into the skull. Pressing and thinking about how I'm going to shift my weight into my left foot. Pushing that left foot down into the ground. I'm going to imagine there's gum on the bottom of my right foot on the floor. And I'm gonna pull that gun, stretching it off the ground to lift my leg up. Again, you can go as high or as low as you need to. So I'm gonna lift my knee up to about the height of my hip, making sure that I don't hike this right hip. 
and I'm just going to stay there. I think about that gum pulling up off the ground. That's a little Jedi mind trick just to distract you a little bit and really give you this tensile quality of how the gravity is pulling down to actually help you stay up. You're just going to breathe there and hold, pressing the skull into the hands, feeling the skull really float up towards the ceiling. You might feel a little wobble in your ankle. I'm feeling a little bit in this side, but that's okay. That's what you want. You want to feel like you're pushing your foot down, so you're lifting up, and it's okay for there to be a little wobble as you find your balance, right? That we need them to be dynamic. We're going to breathe here, and basically I'm just doing this until I start to feel a little burn, a little activity there. I'm feeling my glute med fire. If you feel on the side of your hip, you should feel there's a little dip in. I like to call it the good dimple, so it's like the little dip that we want to bring in on the side. Right, so you're just holding that, and now I'm starting to breathe. So I'm starting to feel a little burn, ah, and I'm losing my balance a little bit. So you're just gonna breathe in. Hopefully, you're breathing a lot more than I am. I'm chatting away here, and then let's do the other side. So maybe you held that for way less than I held it, and that's okay. So you could hold it for five seconds, for 10 seconds, for 30 seconds, for a minute, as long as you want. Let's do the other side. Hands behind the skull, pressing the skull into the hands. My elbows are not too wide, they're a little forward. Remember, if you need to revisit this work, you could definitely go back to episode six and check it out. So I'm gonna think about pushing my right foot, heel, pinky toe ball of the foot, big toe ball of the foot, really pushing down as if I'm pushing the mat downstairs into my neighbor's apartment, really pushing it down. I'm gonna think about that left gum on the, the left gum, <laughs> the left foot trying to pull up off the ground as if it has gum on the bottom of it. Pressing the skull into the hands, lift the foot up, test the waters with just a little hover of the foot. And then if you feel more confident, then bring the leg up higher. Remember, are you swaying in your back? Are you tucking your pelvis forward? Are you over back bending or hyper extending your knees? See if you can find those alignments of your shin on top of your ankle, your thigh on top of your shin your pelvis perched on top of that right thigh bone, your waist is evenly long, and your skull is floating up off of your spine towards the ceiling, and you're just breathing there. So let's breathe together. Let's breathe in, and breathe out. And breathing in, and breathing out. This right side's a little more wobbly for me. My left side I could hang out all day on, and my right side's a little more challenging. Breathing in, breathing out. I'm starting to get a little fire in there. Try and push it a little bit. So if you start to feel a little burn, right? So just see if you can harness that burn. Go lean, lean into the burn, right? So you're gonna think about a little bit more work in there. So when you feel that work, that you're like, okay, I'm going with it. I'm gonna keep it going. One more breath. And lower that foot down. Release your arms, shake them out, maybe shake out your legs. And that's it. This exercise is so sneaky. I mean, I feel my legs really active now. I feel that I can really stand on my legs and feel freedom in my lower back and my upper back because I feel propped up on those leg bones. So hopefully you're feeling a little activation and work in there as well. Thank you so much for joining me. And maybe if you see someone whose glutes need a little perking up or someone that you feel like needs to stand on their legs a little taller, please share this video with them. Have a wonderful day. And until next time, keep moving.